Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, kisses. My name is Rosalind, but for short, you can call me Rosie. And today I want to do this video where I share how I organize my closet. My closet size, I would say it's like standard size. It's not small, it's not big, but I found a few ways on how I organize my closet so that I can be able to fit a lot of things in it and make it look nice. So in case you have a small or big closet, these tips might be able to help you to find new ways to store your items in a new way. So this is my closet behind me, so this is what I'm going to be showing you guys. So without talking anymore, let's begin. So I'm going to start with this side because this is what most of you guys see when I film videos. So behind my door, this is the main entrance to my bedroom. I have this hanger that I use and it could be used for scarves, for sweaters, but I use it for my purses. And on this side, what I have is this nail polish organizer and I also use it to organize my rings and I try to organize them by color as well. So this is my closet door, so we're gonna open it together. And in case you're wondering about the decoration piece that I have on the closet door, I already made a DIY video which you can find. I made it with toilet paper rolls. So here when I open my closet door, the first thing you see is my jewelry organizer. And I really love it so much. I like that I can put my earrings, bracelets, and necklaces. And I even hang some of my sunglasses. I really like it so much and I got this from an Etsy store. The person that creates this, they have different designs but this was my favorite one. And another idea that I had, but I never got to it, was to place a mirror on the right side of my jewelry organizer. The type of mirrors that you can readjust that have like little triangles or diamonds. The type that you can pull and push. I wanted to have one so that I could see myself as I was putting on jewelry pieces. Okay, so we're gonna begin on the left side and basically what I have here on top are a few containers and I always like to add labels that way I could know what I have in each of them that way I don't get confused and I can easily find what I'm looking for. So on the left side I have my gym bag and what I like to put there is my changing clothes if I'm gonna be working out or my workout gloves. So I like to have it ready to go. And then again, on the left side, the container that I have is labeled as pre-K. And that's because what I have there are papers from Little Lynn when she used to be in pre-K. So I like to store away all her activities and creations that she did when she was little. And then the next container says gift. And what I like to put there are presents, things that I like. And I like to have handy so when it's someone's birthday or I want to give something to someone then I have something to give away. Then I have costumes so each year I put away our costumes and I like to sell them the next year. And here I have a few hats and a wig and another container called beauty. I have another wig inside and I just like to put a few things that are beauty related. Then I have electronics, so I like to store away some cables and anything that's related to electronics. And then here I have Lynn's beach toys. And then I have another container with small drawers. And here I like to put away small things like keychains or stickers, things that are small and that I know they're gonna fit inside. And here on this side, there's two more containers which I got from Target and all the containers are from Target but these two pink ones are from the kids section and the top one is named color so we put away like crayons, markers, anything for a little Lynn and on the bottom we have activities so like any playing cards or activity books 
and I also have the game Monopoly and the game of life which is my favorite game and then on the far right I just put away some boxes from items that I buy in case I want to return them or exchange them okay so going down starting from the left side I'm gonna be going through the type of hangers that I have so here the first one that I have is for my belts really useful and I can fit many belts in just one hanger then I love these type of hangers where I can put a lot of pants in one I can fit up to 10 so that's really great and I have three of these type of hangers then I have this one with many loops and I use it to put all my scarves and then behind that what I have are my long skirts or sweaters or jackets okay so now moving to the right side I have all my tops and what I try to do here if you can see I have dividers and I tried to name all of them but I didn't get to that but that's another idea and I got the dividers from the container store and I even tried to organize everything by color or if not by type of fabric and by the way, I didn't buy any of these hangers. What I like to do when I go shopping at Ross, I collect them. And that way I don't have to pay for them. It saves me a lot of money. And the great thing is that you can hang one under another. So that saves a lot of space. I love doing this. And this is another example where I kind of have two tops and one hanger. And then the other thing that I like to have is one of these organizers and this is actually my sister's. I have one as well but it's hidden in a box and I cannot find it anywhere. Mine is actually all beige. I just wanted to place it here to give you an idea of how it can look and how you can have even more space to organize more things. My sister uses hers for shoes but I like to have it for beauty related items or to put away greeting cards and many items. And then behind that I basically have just dresses. And here I put all my shorts and skirts and again I have a few dividers and this is something that I added. It's kind of like a bar that I added and yeah, it just gives me extra space and I love having this. And this little baggie here just keeps bacteria and bad odors away. So it's something eco-friendly and keeps humid away. So I really, really like that. And on this side, what I basically have is this shoe organizer that I got from Walmart. And it's really affordable and I like that I can fit a lot of pairs in it the only thing is that it doesn't have a rubber grip so if they're flat shoes they will fall but it works really great for heels and then on this side all I have are some high boots and my Kipleen backpack with heels and one tip that I like to do for high boots I either use clips as you can see or I just roll up magazines and put them inside and this is my whole closet so I have to go over all of my clothes and see what I'm gonna stay with and what I'm gonna get rid of and then something that I would like to do is buy white baskets and put them on top ideas for you to organize your closet. I would love to know what you do to organize your closet so you can let me know in the comments section and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't for new videos each week. Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. Kisses! Bye!
Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If